the Amazon rainforest, five and a half million square kilometers of impenetrable jungle. Buried deep in the heart of it, the city of Manaus. Located at the point where two branches of the mighty Amazon River converge, 1,500 kilometers inland from the Atlantic Ocean, this is one of the most isolated cities in the world. Brazil's jungle city isn't the obvious choice to host the world's biggest football tournament. But in 2014, it'll host four World Cup games. And Amazonia is an amazing part of Brazil. So from the first day, Manaus had to be part of the World Cup 2014. Every World Cup city needs a world-class stadium. But that's a problem, because Manaus doesn't have one. A brand new stadium is the only option, and building it is going to be a serious challenge. In such an isolated location and with so few natural materials available, everything will have to be transported to site via the Amazon River. The biggest challenge is the distance to the large industrial hub of the south and southeast. We are an isolated region with access only by boat or plane. So if you have a dry river, it slows everything down. Then there's the climate. In the Amazon, conditions can quickly change from intense sunshine you're up there 40 degrees under the sun and that's hard work, that's bone hard work. To torrential downpours that'll stop construction dead in its tracks. Imagine having your construction site being flooded twice daily. And it's not just a stadium the city needs. Manaus is so remote, it's not even connected to Brazil's national grid. Manaus has suffered some blackouts, yes indeed. With roughly one in ten of the world's population tuning in to watch the games, they need to guarantee the lights stay on. It's clear that Manaus is going to have to pay to play. The stadium an incredible $265 million. With just four games, that's more than half a million dollars per minute of football. FIFA expects the Arena da Amazonia to be match ready by the end of 2013. So it can be fully trialled before the World Cup kicks off.